Hi everyone, Nat here from Living Entertainment North Coast. With the advice is sound and so is our passion. Today we are bringing you another length short, this time on the smooth, sexy sounds of Prima Luna valve amplifiers. Today we're looking at the Evo 400 integrated amplifier. It is their top of the range integrated amp. So why am I calling this thing smooth and sexy? Well, it's valves. Valves give it that velvety smooth sound. Think of Barry White playing in the lounge room with a glass of whiskey and a fireplace in the background. That is probably the best way that I can describe this amplifier. It's something you can sit down in front of for hours, get no fatigue, and just mellow out and enjoy the music. We've had a lot of inquiries recently about valve amplifiers, people just wanting to know more about them and why are they still around and how are they different to solid state amplifiers? Well, the biggest difference is obviously the sound. So what's so special about a valve amplifier's sound? Well, let me start with every valve amplifier is a little bit different. They all sound different, just like solid state amplifiers sound different, but they do have one common trait and that is the mid range. Now, a lot of people will say warm, but I don't like to use the word warm because uh, it's non-descriptive. That could mean something different to everybody. But the main thing here is the mid range. So things like vocal and guitars sit in the mid range. They're going to pop out of the mix and be a little bit more forefront for you with a valve amplifier. Premolina does this exceptionally well. Now when it comes to treble, there's plenty of extension here, but never is it harsh or brutal. It's, it's an easy listen. Your bass is probably not as hard hitting as say some of the very, very best solid state amplifiers, but still very good in its own right. And you might be a little bit scared off by valve amplifiers and how they work and how reliable are they and things like that. Well, let me tell you a little bit more about Prima Luna and what they've done to make this the most plug and play, ready to use valve amplifier on the market. Their main calling card is a thing called adaptive auto biasing. So what that actually does is dynamically adjust each one of these tubes to work at its optimum consistently. On top of the auto biasing, if there's something going wrong and you're not sure what's happening, well, the Prima Luna has bad tube indicators built right into it. So you can see or be able to tell, no need to take it to a service tech, it'll show you right there. Now the other big thing with valve amplifiers is valve life. How long are they gonna last and how much is it gonna cost me to replace them? Another great thing about Prima Luna is it doesn't actually run a high voltage to its tubes, which basically translates to longer tube life. So in other words, with the EL34s in here, you're probably gonna get around about 3000 listening hours, which is fantastic. That's a lot of, that's a lot of albums to play. Uh, now, when they do eventually wear out, uh, once again, you've got those bad tube indicators, it'll show you, and it's simply a matter of literally just taking off this part here and putting your white glove on. I don't have one with me, so I won't do it, but you literally just grab the tube here, wiggle it out, and you're away. So that's an EL34 tube, and this is what Prima Luna put into their amplifiers as standard. Now another great advantage with valve amplifiers is they allow you to do a thing called tube rolling. Even though the tubes in the Prima Luna are very good and I recommend them highly, let's say you have a system at home that is all very, already very soft sounding, you know, there's no def definition in the, the treble or maybe not enough bass slam. Well, we can sort of tune that a little bit with tube rolling. So what we would do is we'd simply take out the EL34, like I showed you before, just to give it a little bit of a wiggle out. And then we would replace it with a KT88, a 120, or a 150. All of those tubes are gonna give you more extension in the treble and more bass slam. So it's as simply as grabbing the new one. I know I've got the EL34 in my hand, but it's much the same as using a different tube and slotting it back in, away you go. If you don't wanna spend that big amount changing all these back valves, you can simply change your front preamp tubes and they will give you arguably just as much a difference in sound as replacing your back ones. So you can sort of dip your toe in the water and for less than $100 completely change the sound of your valve amplifier if you like. Once again, I don't recommend doing that. They already sound absolutely fantastic out of the factory, but you do have the option to be able to do it. Feel free to call us or send us an email and ask us about some of the recommendations that might suit your speakers that you already own. 
Now let's have a look at the fit, finish, and input and output options. Now one thing that really impresses me about all of the Pre-Maluna products is their attention to detail when it comes to the code. Now I believe there is seven layers, maybe eight layers, don't, don't quite me on, it's seven or eight layers of automotive grade paint on this. On the front here, you've got a very thick aluminium bezel. We have the volume control, nicely weighted, smooth, well-designed volume control. And your input selector. And something that I hadn't quite gone into detail about, but I will, is the headphone output. Prim Lunar amplifiers have very, very, very good headphone amplifiers built into them. Why is it good? Well, they don't actually take another circuit board and create a whole other headphone amplifier. Why would they? They've already spent all the money building a very good amplifier here. So all they simply do is reduce the power down to an acceptable level for headphones and they use that. So you're going to get a world-class headphone amplifier built straight into Prim Lunar Amplifier. So on the side here we have the switch to go between your speakers and your headphone. Just like this. Next switch along is the bias switch. Now coming back to when I was talking about tube rolling, if you do wish to put in a set of KD8s or uh, 120s for instance, you would simply Change that up, it's now compatible with those tubes. Now, from left to right, we have the speaker terminals. You'll note there's actually three. You've got one negative, and then you've got a four and an eight ohm tap. Here, we have the subwoofer outputs with a switch to make it either mono or stereo. If you've got stereo subwoofers, you can certainly use that. Tape out, if you want to feed line level output. Aux one through to aux five and your home theater input. Now I'm gonna go into a little bit of detail here with this one. What this input allows you to do is turn this unit into a straight power amplifier. Now, why would you wanna do that? A lot of people simply just don't have two rooms to have a dedicated hi-fi system and a dedicated home theater system. If you want to listen to good quality two-channel playback, you're probably not gonna to wanna to run it through a home theater amplifier. That's not really what they were designed to do. A good quality two-channel amplifier was designed for that. So if you want home theater and you want stereo and you've only got one set of left and right speakers, how is that possible? The home theater input. So what you do is you take the pre-outs from your home theater amplifier, your front, left and right pre-outs, put them into here, and then you plug your left and your right speakers into this amplifier. So what that does is give you the sound quality of the Prima Luna amplifier for your front, left and right channels for your home theater. But additionally, if you've got a turntable, a CD player, or a streamer, you can plug it directly into this and use this standalone when you're listening to your two channel music. So therefore you still only need that one set of front, left and right speakers and you can use home theater and two channel stereo in the one room. Down the bottom here is an external phono stage that is an optional extra if you wish to have it. In Australia, I'm still not 100% sure whether it is available or not, but just get in contact and we'll let you know for sure. I hope you found this video informative. Thank you for watching. And once again, thank you for supporting small business. If you enjoyed this video, you can support us by giving us a like and subscribe along with hitting the notification bell. You can also follow us on our Facebook and Instagram. Until next time.